service today. You know this is our marvelous light day that our God has made for us. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. And guess what? All forms of darkness have no power over us. And just know that we are in God's presence because the Bible says we are two or three are gathered in the name of the Lord, and that is the name of Jesus. God is right there in their midst. Therefore, expect God to do great things in your life today. You know always, we begin this service with a prayer. So close your eyes, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for today. Lord, as we are going to thank as we are going to praise you, may people's hearts be touched and may their lives be changed. In Jesus' name we are afraid. Amen. Now, it's our beautiful time to prophesy the year and the month that God gave us. Together. This is my year of his marvelous light and I see his marvelous light. This is my birth of his marvelous light of faith. And my faith is shining. Indeed, our faith has been shining since this month started up to today. And by now, all of you know that this is our last Sunday of this month. And Alpha. What does the Bible tell us in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 8? It says, Endings are better than beginnings. So children, be expectant of better things from God as this month comes to an end. Now we are going to praise and worship our God. And the Bible tells us in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse 14 that King David praise the Lord and dance with all his might in the presence of the Lord. Therefore, children, stand up on your feet. Let's also praise our God and dance for him with all our might, like King David, and our lives will not remain the same. Of the Lord comes upon my heart. I 
my children for dancing with all your might as we have been praising and worshiping the Lord. And guess what? Your life has not remained the same. But don't see it because you are going to continue singing for the Lord. But remember, since this month started, we have been learning that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Therefore, as we sing this song, it's going to remind us always that we have to speak to our lives what God says of us, not what the hard situation say, not what the sickness say, no, what God says of us from his word, not what people say, which is not in line with the word of God. We should always speak to our lives what God says of us and we will always be blessed. So enjoy the song.
Islam called this word. And this word will make our faith to shine more and more in our lives and whatever we do. Our word from God today is faith is love. Can you speak it together? Faith is Lagos. Children, what comes to your mind when you hear the word Lagos? Oh, what does Lagos mean? Lagos simply means who you are and what you can be remembered for. Oh, Lagos is something you can pass on to others even when you're gone. Oh, when you no longer live in that particular place that you're living in right now. Or when you no longer study in that school that you're studying in right now. I'm going to give you an example. If you are the best performer in your class, that is your legacy. And the children that you're studying with will always remember you as the best performer in your class even when you're no longer study with them after some years. The same applies to our faith. The life of faith we live is a legacy that we have to be remembered for and also leave it behind for others to follow. So children, how do we live a legacy of faith? You have to build your whole life on the word of God. Because the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This means to us that whatever you believe, say and do should be in line with God's word. Even when it means to look or behave different from other people or children around you. For example, if they are speaking sickness, you speak health. You speak prosperity when others are speaking lack or poverty. You speak protection while others are speaking danger. This will prove that you're living a legacy of faith. The legacy of faith you're living will be noticed by your family members and all other people around you they will be touched and get inspired by the way you live because these people already know how to fail but they are looking for a person who will show them how they can be victorious in their academics and whatever they do in the book of hebrews chapter 11 and verse 2 the bible talks about people who had great faith in God. And these people obtained great testimonies. One of the best examples is Abraham. The Bible calls him the father of our faith. Why? Because he was the first person who believed in the word of God. Therefore, we have to copy his example and also live a legacy of faith like he did. Now it's time to hear a story. I know you love stories so much. And learn more about Abraham who lived a legacy of faith behind so that we can also learn from him and copy his example. Enjoy the story. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 5, the Lord said to Abraham, Leave your country, your family, and your relatives, and go to the land that I will show you. I will bless you and make your descendants into a great nation. You will become famous and be a blessing to others. I will bless anyone who blesses you but I will put a curse on anyone who puts a curse on you. 
everyone on earth will be blessed because of you. Abram was 75 years old when the Lord told him to leave the city of Haran. He obeyed and left with his wife Sarah, his nephew Lord, and all the possessions and slaves they had got while in Haran. So they left Haran and went to the land of Canaan. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 1 to 6, while they reached, God made another promise to Abram. He spoke to Abram in a vision. Abram, don't be afraid. I will protect you and reward you greatly. But Abram answered, Lord all-powerful, you have given me everything I could ask for, except children. And when I die, Eliezer of Damascus will get all I own. You have not given me any children, and this servant of mine will inherit everything. The Lord replied, No, he won't. You will have a son of your own, and everything you have will be his. Then the Lord took Abraham outside and said, Look at the sky and see if you can count the stars. That's how many descendants you will have. Abraham then believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. In Romans chapter 4, verse 13 to 25, shows us that the promise that God made to Abraham is for us all who have faith. We also receive the same promise by faith from Abraham, the father to us all who believe. He is our faith father. We call him father not because he got God's attention by living like a saint but because God made something out of Abraham when he was a nobody. Through his word, God told Abraham, I have made you the father of many people. God named him a father before he became a father because he trusted God who brings the dead back to life and who creates new things out of nothing. Then Abraham decided to live on what God had said he would do and he never focused on his very old body which was a hundred years or his wife's barren womb. Abraham's faith in God's promise grew stronger and was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promised. That's why Abraham was set right with God because of his faith and he became a father of many people. This was not for Abraham alone but also for us. The same thing that God said to Abraham, he also says to us when we believe Jesus, who made us right with God, when he died for our sins, and God raised him from the dead. Hope you have enjoyed the story and learned lessons from it. From the story, we learn that we must obey God's word like Abraham did. When God told him to leave his country and his city to go to the place where Abraham didn't even know, Abraham did not doubt in his heart. And when he reached Canaan, 
God blessed Abraham. Therefore, children, when you obey God's word, God will bless you like he blessed Abraham. We also learned that when we believe in Jesus who died for our sins and God raised him from the dead, we become the righteousness of God. Everything concerning us is made right. Our academics are made right, our family is made right, and whatever we are believing God for is made right because we believe in Jesus. We also learn that when we believe in Jesus who died for our sins and God raised him from the dead, we become the righteousness of God. And everything that concerns us is made right. Our academics, our family, and whatever we are believing God for is made right. Because even when Abraham believed in God, God accounted for him as righteousness and everything that concerned Abraham was made right. Lastly, we remember Abraham because of his faith. And when we have faith, we will also be remembered like Abraham was remembered. God bless you. Children, you should know that believing in God begins our legacy. And believing in God starts on that day you believe Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. So if you're out there and if you've not yet believed Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, repeat these words after me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I believe. I believe. You sent Jesus to die for my sins. You sent Jesus to die for my sins. I believe. I believe. You raised him from the dead. You raised him from the dead. With my heart. With my heart. I believe. I believe. To receive righteousness. To receive righteousness. With my mouth, with my mouth, I confess, I confess, Jesus, Jesus, as my personal Lord, as my personal Lord, and Savior, and Savior. Amen. Amen. Now you're born again, and you have started your journey of living a legacy of faith in this world. Children, before I end this service, I want to leave an assignment for all of you. This assignment is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. You're going to read the whole chapter throughout this week. And you're going to learn more about people who lived by faith. And you're going to copy their example and also live like them. And if you're there and you don't know how to read, Please tell your parents or your relatives to read for you and also learn more about people who left a legacy of faith behind so that you can also copy from them. Let's end our service with a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word that you have given us today. Faith is legacy. We promise to live a life of faith and we are going to leave a legacy behind in whatever we do and wherever we are. And we believe through faith you're going to perform miracles in our lives, in our academics, in our parents' lives and whatever concerns us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. And God bless you. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever with his marvelous light, forever with his marvelous light, forever with his marvelous light. Amen. Bye.